Here. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I actually have this cenote to myself right now. I'm not one person inside. I don't know where everybody from my tour is. Wow. A cenote with nobody around. What? All right, so I just finished up at the cenote and they have a restaurant here which is included with the admission as far as with the tour. So uh, check this out. They have brought me all kinds of stuff to try. I don't really know what all of it is. That's my guacamole that said it's spicy. The main portion right there, we've got some pork and she probably got cheese to make tacos. Whoa, this food is gross. So I ordered the cochinita and that was definitely the way to go. It was absolutely phenomenal. Um, gosh, I ate so much and I've got uh, flan coming for dessert. Homemade flan. So I just had a thought, is every cenote experience like this? Because um, I wasn't expecting a meal, nevertheless all this food, and I don't know if it's a package deal with the tour that I got to Chichen Itza. If you could just comment below and let me know, uh, that would be awesome. So I'm looking around this place, nobody else got that many plates like I did. So it was so good. I don't know if it's because I was filming stuff, but uh, they got a good tip. All I had to pay for was the drink. So my trip's coming to a close here. Let's see if we can get more light here. There we go. Um, you know, this hostel stay has not been bad. I've met some really cool people. Um, something that kind of makes me a little bit jealous is uh, these people are traveling full time. Most of these people are not here for less than a month. So bad we wish I could do this. Uh, but who, who knows what might be in store. But overall, I rate this experience very high. The staff has been incredibly helpful in so many different ways. Um, Playa del Carmen is so beautiful. One thing I would do is uh, to stay off of Fifth Avenue. It's uh, tourist heavy, it's expensive, and I made that mistake the first day by getting some gelato that cost me a lot of money. I started freaking out because I didn't bring that much money with me to begin with, but um, you know, once I got off there, I mean, you can get tacos you can get a nice meal for less than 100 pesos easy. Uh, I think my cheapest meal is like 45 pesos for uh, three tacos. So I just went to Fifth Avenue looking for a massage because they're all over the place down there. And uh, I had the business card of one in my hand, which I fully intended to go on back to her. But someone else came up to me and said, uh, you know, she had $45 on her. She says, I'll give it to you for $35. And uh, then I said, no, that's too much. And she goes, well, you pay $25. All 
All right, sure. So uh, I went there, and if, if you come here and you want a twenty-five dollar massage, I got deep tissue massage. It wasn't the best I've ever uh, I've ever had, but uh, needless to say, it was a twenty-five dollar massage. Uh, the lady I went to is one that are out by the Hard Rock uh, Cafe or Hard Rock Hard Rock Restaurant. So if you want a twenty-five dollar, you can talk her down. Just uh, I don't know if having the business card of someone else in my hand uh, allowed me to get that deal or not. So, just some tips. Another place I wanted to try is this El Ranchito. Uh, I guess that's how you pronounce it. But I've got some a flank steak taco. I have um, what was the other one? Chorizo and El Pastor tacos coming. So, I love the tacos in this area. Alright, so here I have chorizo. El Pastor and Flank Steak Tacos. Looks delicious. All right, so that was the greasiest meal I think I've ever had. The Flank Steak was really good, but when I picked it up, man, the grease just ran out. My plate was swimming in it. <clears throat> it was a good meal. It was only 60 pesos, so I mean, it's a good deal. If you don't mind a greasy, if you don't want the grease, you don't get the Flank Steak, but it's really good. So just an update on the meal that I had yesterday that was really greasy. Um, if you get something that's that greasy, you don't eat it. Uh, yeah, it didn't do me too well uh, within two hours. So uh, just my advice. It was good, tasted good though. to Esmeralda, new friends, yes. say hello to Tony. <laughs> uh, so this is, as you can see behind me, it's a beautiful, beautiful beach, but also it has a cenote that kind of flows into the ocean, which is really neat. So I want to show you guys uh, around here a little bit. It's uh, down at, the, I guess, the north end of uh, Playa del Carmen. Would that be right? Yeah. yeah, so the north end, it's beautiful. So let me switch the camera around here. It is clear and this is fresh water, right? This is another thing sort of fresh water. But this is neat, it's just like all the way around. It's got like a little island of sand. Great last day. It is like such perfect, beautiful weather at Punta Esmeralda today. Just taking a walk down this beautiful beach. This part has a lot of the smelly seaweed on it, but uh, it's a big beach and it's beautiful. Just perfect, I mean, perfect way to spend the last day. Weather's beautiful. Sunset's looking like it's gonna be magnificent tonight. So I hope I can get you some more pics on that on the Instagram. So. Put my Instagram down in the corner for you so you can go ahead and follow that so you can get all my updates. Last dinner night, we are going to El Fagon. So uh, I've been told it's a great sirloin quesadilla. So that's what we're gonna get tonight. All right, so it came highly um, recommended that I get the sirloin uh, quesadillas. So take a look at these. They taste better than they look. Tony, tell us about the food. I think it has to be the best quesadilla I've ever eaten. Sirloin with some melted cheese, a little bit of tomatoes, onions, spicy sauce, everything you could ever want in a meal, in a Mexican meal, man. Amazing. I completely agree. All right, so if you're coming to Playa del Carmen and this one's not on your list, you're not even coming to Playa del Carmen. You have to eat here and the sirloin quesadillas are bomb. Perfect. 
Okay, since my time is running down, like scurrying to the places that I didn't get to just to try. Uh, so there's a place on 25th and I think it's 2nd. Uh, you gotta go there. It's a fruit stand and they have these juices. This is a mango juice. And the other one I had the other night had, uh, uh, I think it was pineapple. It had uh, something that was from the spinach family. I cannot remember. I'll put the name down at the bottom of the screen. And then the other thing was pineapple or coconut. I can't remember which I said. So that was delicious. This mango juice is off the charts as well. All right, this is probably the last review. If you see these in the restaurants, I was kind of sketched because there's no label on it. Um, but I, I picked one up, I asked a few people what it was. It has a coconut flavor with like a hint of cinnamon. So I don't know what it's called, but if you just see the, the bottles with the white, it's, it's absolutely delicious, you should try it. If you enjoyed this video, just go ahead and smash that like button. Uh, hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. I can't wait to bring you more content. 